Hi, this is Dr. Muhammad Awais and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to check plagiarism using Turnitin. Let's get started. Open turnitin.com. The link is provided in the description of this video as well. Go to login if you have already an account. After giving your email address and password, hit at login. If you want to check plagiarism without creating any class, go to quick submit. Hit at submit. Select the databases where you would like to include when comparing papers submitted to this assignment that you are going to submit here. I mean, you want to look for plagiarized content from internet, student papers, periodicals or journals or publications. Search the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan repository, the PhD dissertations or the research papers available in this repository. So hit here. If you want to add the text of this submission to any repository, select the relevant one. If you are not a librarian and you are an individual, I suggest you to select no repository. Submit. Give the first name, last name and submission title. You can write anything in these boxes by the way. So the file you are submitting will not be added to any repository. Choose the file from this computer. Select that file. Hit at upload. So it will take a few seconds to process. So this is the submission. The file size is 154 KB. Page count is 18. Word count is this one. Character count is this one. Hit confirm. So if you want to submit another file right away, hit here, otherwise go to assignment inbox. So here is my latest submission. Keep refreshing this page until you find a similarity index here. So you see, here is my latest submission and the similarity report is ready. Now if you hit here, go to this similarity tools option, 15% hit here. And it will highlight where is the plagiarized content. 2% of the text from this uh, submitted file is plagiarized from this internet source. You, you can go to further break down it. If you click here, it will open a new web page where you can find the original paper. So this is how you can check the plagiarized content. By the way, if you scroll down, uh, it includes the references as well. Now, how to exclude these references? Two ways. There are two ways. One, you can you know, simply delete the references file before submitting the file to Turnitin. Or you can go to this and go to filters and settings. Hit here. Exclude quotes. Exclude bibliography. Okay. And now apply changes. Now the similarity index is 2%. By the way, you can see AI detection tool as well. 0%. It requires the manual review as well. Anyways, so if someone included AI generated text in the submission file, so it will show AI generated uh, index here in this box. By the way, if you scroll up, you will find the highlighted text which is likely to be plagiarized. So if you go here, you can go to this download, current view. By this way, you can download this highlighted version of this submission. Here is the report. This is the title by the author. And this is a plagiarized content, which is basically a quotation. For quotations, APS just to include inverted commas at the start and at the end, as you know better. And I mistakenly didn't do that here. So if you are a teacher, you see how easy it was to check the you know, plagiarism index of the assignments that you received from your students. Not only the traditional similarity index, but AI detection index as well. If you like this video, hit like and leave a comment. And please don't forget to subscribe before closing this window. Thank you very much for watching this.